Namaste everyone. Welcome to another episode of the Avocado Insider series. It's your host Harshad Goda. In this episode, we continue our discussion with Lisa from Ripe Horticulture, Australia. We discuss the climatic requirements for Haas avocados. Uh, basically, the temperature shouldn't go above 35 degrees Celsius and uh, it shouldn't go to freezing. Now, these conditions in India are found in the Northeast region. So, Natural Second, Nagaland, and uh, Assam, and uh, Tripura, Manipur, all those places. And then we have South India, so mostly places where you can grow coffee. So, like Kodai Khanal, Kunnur, Kurg. So, the next question is What are the climatic requirements for Haas? Like, what's the ideal situation, uh, ideal climatic conditions for Haas? I think ideal is a subtropical climate, yeah. what we have here in Bundaberg, so yeah. a thousand mils of rain, um, one metre rain, annual rainfall, yeah. um, sort of, we don't get sort of minimums below 10 degrees, okay. and it doesn't really get above 34s, 35s, okay, maybe, yes. but it's yeah. high humidity, so rarely yeah. gets below 20% humidity, that's on the hottest days. So okay. it's usually sitting around that 20 to 30, even on the dry days. Okay. So, but then, yeah, as I said, like I've seen, if you set the orchards up right, I have yeah. seen some amazing things. Okay. Um, but it, it, it just, it costs money <laughs> to set them up right. Yeah. 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 So I've got, I even have some clients, they've got drip, yeah. overhead misters, and micro sprinklers. All right. In, so what's what's the, the point of arid. what's the point of having micro sprinkler and a drip? Like because it's going to the roots anyway, right? To grow, uh, yeah. They're trying to grow cover crop in the middle. Okay. Up there. Yeah. Um, to just keep that te temperature down, because yeah. you can in our region you can actually get radiant heat and radiant burn off the mid rows yeah. if they're bare. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what happens in the drip, unfortunately. So, yeah. but if you have an overhead mister that puts out a larger droplet, yeah. sometimes you can just put them on at night time and get a cover crop growing as well. Yeah. So yeah. you can you can use that. Another thing with overheads, you just have to be really careful of your EC, your salts and chlorides in the water, okay. because if you're using them a lot, you can get a, a, a bit of tip burn or um, mm. that sort of thing. So it's always good to keep checking those things because they yeah. fluctuate usually as well mm -hmm. i hope you found the video interesting and insightful that's it for this video thank you for watching but before you go don't forget to hit the subscribe button or the notification icon that would keep me motivated to publish more content more frequently bye